All right, in this video we're checking out the uh, Meteor 65 Whoop from Beard FPV. Now there will be a link that's down in the description if you're watching this video kind of early. A link might not be there. I'm not exactly 100% sure when it's going to come out in the store on BeardFPV.com. I uh, heard around November 11th, but uh, in case you're seeing this video a little bit early, uh, you might have to come back a little bit later to see the actual link where you can purchase this. And, uh, currently, uh, they're filming this video. The uh, it's not actually in the store yet, but I'm not. I don't know what the pricing is either. So uh, those questions will have to wait till later. But this is um, kind of a prototype, actually. You can see. A lot of battle scars here on the frame. It's a white frame or a clear frame that's been painted blue, but the actual frames later will actually come in different colors in blue, um, orange, I believe, purple, black, and a couple other colors, I think, will be available and they'll be actually, they won't be painted like this far. So you won't, if you're worried about the frame looking bad like this, it's not, not going to be the case. Now this is a different kind of a frame, a new mold. It looks like they've thinned out a lot of the spars here to make it a lot lighter. I don't, I haven't taken apart to weigh the frame and I'll probably won't do that until later until I get the final versions. But um, it does look like it's a slightly lighter frame than it was what it had previously. I've had crash this a lot as you can see, very cracked canopy. Um, but um, the frame has held up okay. It's not too bad. Um, you know, normally I build my stuff with these UR65 frames and these are pretty tough. I'll do a frame comparison in our future videos. So uh, the, th the motors are interesting here. Very high KV. Uh, 0802, 22,000 KV. So you saw in my previous build I did. Uh, I had the 0802, 19,500 KV. And I'll get right into the whole flight time and battery discussion here because the old build here uses the old build <laughs> this is like a week old uh, uses the ph 2.0 connector you know standard battery everyone uses now and you know i'm getting less than two minutes of flight time on the 300 milliamp hour gmb um you know i think it's a limitation of the the amp draw of these motors very high kv and the connector even though this one here is a solid pin connector same board by the way the same 1s board that I reviewed previously in that other build. As you can see, this um, bind and fly comes with the exact same board, same connectors and plugs. Um, what I wasn't aware of previously is I flashed four one on here and not knowing what was on here, I just figured there was nothing particularly special on the board. But the board apparently comes with a Project Mockingbird tune on 357, which is what this came with, which is what I flew um, this one with in the review, so that's why you're seeing it flowing in stability mode, if you guys are wondering. And obviously this one comes with the new uh, battery connector. So this one here is called BT 2.0. And you can see it's got the very thick pins on the inside. Kind of looks like an XT30, but like a miniaturized XT30. And I'm not exactly 100% sure what gauge wire this is. It feels like about maybe 18 or 20 gauge wire. Uh, so these, obviously this board doesn't come with the PH 2.0 connector that the, if you buy the board separately, it will come with the PH 2.0 connector, but the Meteor 65 will come with the BT 2.0 connector. So my uh, review unit came with the, two of these batteries with the special connector as you can see here. You can see the inside of those pins. It does look a lot like an XT30, so it's supposed to allow for more current draw so there's less resistance. And so um, the, you won't have as much voltage sag and you'll probably have better flight time. And in terms of flight time, that's what I got. So on basically, this is lighter. So let me just show you the weight first. I gotta show you all this stuff first before I explain this stuff before it's not gonna make any sense to you. So this is the old build, it's like 20.69, 20 20.7 grams, you know, it's lighter. And by the way, I switched to props to match the same props that are on here, so it's a fair comparison. And this one here, the Meteor 65, is a little bit heavier, coming at 23.1 grams. It's actually quite a bit heavier, um, about 2.5 grams heavier. And yeah, I mean, it's a higher KV motor on this guy, much higher KV motor, and quite a bit heavier. But I get a better flight time with this battery and this connector versus the... GMB battery and the old connector. So 
I think the connector obviously is making a pretty pretty big difference. You can see that just look at the battery itself, how small the connector is on the PH 2.0 versus the BT 2.0. So I get about a two minute or actually under a two minute flight time on this setup here with 19,500 kV motors and a lighter setup here. So less flight time. I'm getting like two, right now about two and a half minutes, to two, two minutes, 40 seconds on this setup here, a little bit heavier. Um, with the different connector and a much higher KV motor. So, you know, obviously you would expect higher KV motor and more weight would be less flight time, but you actually get more flight time on this setup. And I think it's mainly due to the battery connector. Now, you know, granted it's not the greatest flight time, two and a half minutes, it's not the great. When I first got this, I was getting close to three minutes, like 250, 255. But as I've been flying this, I think I'm already starting to wear down the batteries because the high KV motors are so, you know, are so, um, uh, very, you know, very intense in terms of drawing the current out of these batteries. So my flight time has gradually started dropping after about 20, 25 flights now. So I'm going to be uh, telling BFP about that. Obviously, this is all still kind of a work in progress. So they're probably still developing these batteries and may, may, you may see more improvements, but that's what I'm getting right now. I started getting at the beginning around 250, 255. Now I'm getting like between 230 and 240 in terms of flight time of these batteries after they've sort of settled down a little bit. So keep that in mind. And if you're looking for, you know, five minute flight times on something like this, you're not going to get it. Um, then again, you know, for work, where I'm flying inside my house, it's a very small location, a lot of turns, you know, I'm not really flying for speed, I'm flying more for like control. You don't necessarily need the 22,000 kV motors, you could probably get by with the 17,500 kV motors and be totally fine. And in fact, I'll probably test that later and see if that makes any difference. I, mean, I bet I'll get a much longer flight time on that motor uh, versus the 22,000 kV motor. And if you're on a shorter track, you don't need top speed, you know, that should be fast enough for most indoor racing um again you know opinions will vary but yeah i you know whether or not you you you'll need the 22,000 kv motors you know i guess we'll see okay so now in terms of durability obviously the canopy here is going to crack and um i actually forgot to put my little reinforcement uh, trick on the on the canopy which is i normally would reinforce the inside of the, the canopy here at the top where obviously it's cracked and also here in the front um, that's where it usually breaks in the crashes so I've done that on this one here so actually I've painted this one and I've actually reinforced it back here over here and in the front you can see this the paint got scraped away and I just put a, a very thin layer of welders glue on the inside like a really really thin layer it's a very flexible glue and that will actually uh, hold this together and crash this I've um, I've had several of these where I've done the little welders trick and putting the glue in the front here and on a little bit on the top. It's just a very thin layer, not a whole lot of weight, but you know, basically spread it out so it's nice and thin, covers uh, the whole area and, and like, a, like a little bit of a layer of glue. And none of this canopy is broken. I just forgot to do it in this one. I was, I was like, I got kind of excited to start flying this like pretty much immediately. And uh, yeah, this thing cracked like I think on the second flight. I was like, oops, I forgot to put the glue on this one. Um, not a big deal. Uh, I'll just get another canopy. I'll probably end up just painting this one anyway. But you can just, even if it cracks like this, you can still put glue on the inside and it'll hold together and you just, you know, use some uh, oil markers and paint it up and it'll look, it'll look totally fine. Didn't have time to do that yet on, before I filmed this video, but yeah, it's not a big deal. Now the uh, camera on here, gosh, I, I, you know, I'll put it up on the screen. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's not bad. It's um this is this was a this is a newer one, I think. I've never seen this one before. Usually a lot of the beta FPV cameras are kind of not not so great indoors. But this one's actually pretty decent. It's got a pretty good wide, uh, dynamic range on and you'll see that in the flight footage. But um let's see, yeah, that and then obviously this is a little a separate video transmitter. Oh, it does come with two different mounts. Uh I think a lot of the beta FPV ones have that. So basically there's a, this one here, which is kind of a shallow angle for slower flights, um, which is what I switched it to. It, really, it came with, uh, originally came with a different mount with a more camera tilt. So I think that one was more like uh, 30, 35 degrees. And this is more, kind of more like maybe 20 degrees or so, 20, 25 degrees. So I just swapped out the uh, mount for the one that um, is a little bit less angle because that's what I prefer. Um, 
yeah, I think that's it. So here is just a few flights um, that I haven't, I've been actually probably showed you some flights already, but here's, there's a couple more. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And again, I'll update the link a little bit later. Um, hopefully by the time you watch this video, it'll be there. So if you're interested in buying it, uh, it'll be down there in the description.